Hey everyone, in this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a 3D routing text animation around a log, just like Bantike. To get started, let's drag this footage into this composition icon to create a new composition. Now we can preview the footage. If you would like to use this footage to practice this tutorial, you can download it using the link provided in the description of this video. Let's move the time indicator to find the perfect position of the log. Next, we use the text tool to type something like Bantike as we are gonna make a similar video. If you wanna change the font, color, style of the text, simply select the text and move over to the character tab. If you are missing the character tab or any other tabs, you can easily enable them by going to the window menu at the top. Next, we need to select the anchor point as it is important to center the anchor point in the text to make the 3D rotation animation easy. Once done, switch back to selection tool and change the text size position according to the tutorial or our expectations. We can easily make these changes from the text layer on the timeline. Simply expand the text layer and go to the transform section. Here we can find the rotation property and we can change its value to achieve the desired angle. This 3D layer icon allows us to manipulate the layer in three dimensions. Let's activate this for the text layer. Now we can see the red, green and blue circles. Next we need to click on the stopwatch of the position, scale and orientations to set keyframes for the animation. Move the time indicator to the end of the video and make some changes. Here you notice the red, blue and green dots on their respective circles represent X, G and Y rotation, which you can adjust to achieve the desired animation. Now we can move the red dot down to change the X rotation of the text. We can also slightly move the blue dot to the left. If you need to zoom in on the composition, you can easily do it by scrolling the mouse wheel. And if you want to move the composition around, just hold on the spacebar to get the hand tool that allows you to move it. To adjust the size of the text, we can use these points. Next, move the time indicator to the left to find the next position for the animation. Change the position of the text by clicking on it. Then we can grab the red dot and move it up to change its rotation in the line with the lock rotation. Similarly, we can make same changes for the G and Y rotation. When we make any changes after effects set keyframes at the frame where changes were made. This way we can complete the rest of the animation. So we have completed our 3D rotation text animation. Let's check it and make any necessary adjustments. Dislike the text layer by clicking on the blank area to remove the rotation circles. Finally, reboot the entire animation once again and make changes as needed. I think it is okay as a tutorial. Next, call off the text layer and select all layers to pre-compose them. Right click any of the selected layers and choose pre-compose. Choose a name and ensure it is selected. Then click OK. Now we have to fix the duration of this pre compost layer by removing the extra portion from the beginning and ending of the layer. We can say that it is now ready for the rest of the task. Our next step is to create a speed ramp. To do this, press the Ctrl plus Alt plus T key on the keyboard at the same time to enable time remapping or right click on the layer and go to the time to enable time remapping. Move the time indicator to the beginning frame of the layer and click on the icon to create a keyframe. Move the time indicator to the exact location where you wanna create a second keyframe. Next, we need to increase the speed between these keyframes. To do this, drag the second keyframe to the left closer to the first keyframe. This will increase the speed of this area of the timeline. Right now, we need to move the time indicator to the next location to set the third keyframe. Next, go to the ending frame of the layer and create the final keyframe. Drag this keyframe to the left closer to the third keyframe to increase the speed of the timeline. The work area can be adjusted accordingly. Let's preview the animation to check the speed ramp. Finally click on the graph editor to make the speed ramp smoother. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to apply the easy ease or click here on the easy ease button. Next click on the blank area to deselect the all keyframes. Select the second keyframe to enable the handlebar. Drag this handlebar to the upper left area to create this kind of curve. Hold down the shift key on the keyboard and drag the handlebar to the right. Now the right handlebar. Drag it to the left. Repeat this process for the third keyframe. For the final keyframe, release the shift key and drag the handlebar to the lower right area to create a ramp. 
which increases the speed of this area of the curve. Let's play the animation and observe the improvement. Finally, click on the graph editor again to hide it. If you wanna slightly increase the speed of the slow area, select the last keyframes and move them to the left. Let's play the video again. However, you may notice there is no motion blur on the high speed area, which looks unnatural. We can enable motion blur by clicking on this icon. If that is not enough, we can go to the effects and presets and find the pixel motion blur effect and apply this effect to the layer. After that, expand the effects to access the motion blur settings. Change the shutter angle value from 180 to 360 to increase the amount of the blur. Now you'll notice a lot of changes. This is our tutorial on creating 3D rotation text animation in After Effects. There are many different ways to create this kind of animation. And this is just one of them. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Now download this footage and practice it on your own. I'll be back in the next video.